Welcome to Sandra Sensations. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to be doing a split cup. My 3D split cup that Greg made me that says Sandra Sensations on it. He did just an awesome job of this. Love it. It's a four compartment one. I'm going to fill it up. I've got a 10 by 20 canvas ready to go here with black acrylic. Now I put three drops of silicone in this black. I have no idea if that's a good idea to put it on your base or not, but we're going to try it and see what happens. Alrighty, if you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And everybody that keeps coming back, thank you so much. And again, thank you to everybody from the Facebook groups that I posted my Christmas tree painting in. All of the comments and thumbs up. And I even got some subscribers out of it as well. I beat my goal of 200 subscribers. I think right now it's at 205 or something like that. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much that means to me. So again, thank you everyone. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to be doing black, uh, fuchsia. It's like a fuchsia purple. It's a little bit of a mixed color. Red, a gray I mixed up. It's got a tinge of green in it. My berry wine and the Deco Arts Pearl Metallic are the colors I'm thinking I'm going to do here. So I'm just going to start filling up my cup. Now this is only the second or third attempt I've done with the split cup, so we'll see how it goes. Start with that. I'm going to put some black on top of that. With some red. So that's on one side. Now let's do the gray. With some berry wine. Now all of this is 50% acrylic and 50% Floetrol mix. Same with the black, it's black Saks acrylic. 50% acrylic, 50% Floetrol. With three drops of silicone in that black base. Okay, so now the next one, let's do some red. Just trying to use up some colors I had in these plastic cups, kind of use up the colors was my idea. So they only last so long in these plastic cups. Okay, and then I'm going to put, I think, some of the gray in as well. And some black on top. Just changing it up a little bit. Okay, so now this one, let's go with metallic first. Metallic pearl, I should say. Okay. Now this could be a lot of paint for a 10 by 20 canvas, but leave it on the edge, why not? That was the berry wine. Try and finish up this pink, purpley pink color. Okay. The black I'm not going to worry about. Let's put some of the gray on top. Okay, let's give this a whirl. This guy needs to get filled a little bit more. I'm going to put some berry wine on top. Because it's my favorite color and you can never have too much berry wine, right? So let's give this split cup a try here. I'm going to start at this end and go all the way down. I think I'm going to give it a little bit of a swirly effect, a little bit of a circles.
Now, I don't remember if I said it or not, but thank you to all my regulars. Keep those comments and thumbs up coming. I just love it. Okay, I guess I'm going to go back up this way because I still got paint coming out and it's... I might regret going up the center, but we'll see. Okay. I think I'm going to wreck this guy too by drawing with my end of my paintbrush before I do anything. Hopefully it will create a very cool design when I tilt it. So far so good. Ooh, I like that, it looks like a heart. Okay, is that enough? I think I need to do one more right down the center. <laughs> I know everybody always tells me, Sandy, quit fussing with your paintings. Just leave them, but I gotta fuss. It's just my thing. Okay. Let's give this a tilt and see how it looks. I'll try and keep it on... Good camera range for you. Now underneath my cameras, I don't know if you can see them or not, I have these wonderful S's that I use as risers for my painting. Greg made them for me. Okay, let's put that down for a sec. I got all my corners covered. Except for this one corner over here. Let's give it another little tilt. I didn't even get it, did I? There we go. That other one is, yeah. Okay, let's give this a torch and see if it's doing anything with that base. Oh, I see cells popping up here, so... I have paint everywhere. Okay. That, I must say, that looks really cool. Hopefully you can see it well on the camera angles. Let me just grab my smaller paintbrush, my little pink one. And I'm going to connect some of my cells that are popping up. I think it's really cool when you can connect some of the cells and make some cool designs in them. love this area right here but you know what I say that with all my paintings I always like the designs there's not very many of them that I don't like
I wasn't 100% sure about the gray that I was putting down here, but it actually looks really nice. I like a painting that makes you look at it and follow lines and design and see different things. Just about done here. I think this will be the last wrecking line right there. Give it another quick little torch. Now I'm not going to lift this one, it's got a lot of paint on it still, hopefully the side view is showing it well enough. And once it's dry, I will definitely show this one as a completed project. Alright everybody, love the split cup, awesome thing. For somebody that's only done it a couple times, I'm very happy with that painting. Can't wait to do more of this. Thanks very much for joining me everybody, remember, hit subscribe come back and watch another video. I'm sure Greg will be putting one of my favorites up right now for you to click on and watch. Stick around. Thanks.